everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. So today I thought I would do a really quick kind of um, chit-chatty video just talking through some perfumes I have been wearing throughout the last week or so, some that I have not been wearing as much and also just a quick update on what's been going on with me I suppose because I am just about to move house. <laughs> now I don't know why, like I've never mentioned it in any video just because I never felt there was the right moment to kind of bring it up but basically I will be moving home so I have been filming quite a few videos recently to try and have like a bit of a backlog um, just in case things are a little bit hectic when we first move in and you know just in case I'm not able to film videos for a wee while so I wanted to film quite a few just now like all together so I had content for you guys and so I don't miss um so that I don't go too long without posting a video basically. I have been feeling really good about um videoing lately I don't know if um you might have noticed but like for a while I went down to one video a week because I just felt um, I was super busy and I just I was finding it more difficult to actually film videos I don't really know why but I just went through a little bit of a sort of time like that but recently I've been really kind of getting into the swing of things and I have been posting my two videos a week again I think I did three videos in one week at one point actually and I've just been feeling really good about my channel I've been really appreciative of you guys and your beautiful comments and I've just been kind of feeling really inspired again about um, fragrances, about like making videos, the whole process of making videos and editing and all of that I've been feeling really good about that in general so I have been sort of increasing my schedule from one a week to two a week for the time being anyway and um, so we'll see how that goes but as I say like I'm about to move house <laughs> I haven't actually packed yet or anything I mean by the time this video goes up I will have moved already um, but it's been a really busy time and um, I do have this sort of part-time job but in addition to that I have just taken on like a new job that I'm going to be doing here and there. Um, it's actually sort of like a, a beauty like skincare um, consultant type of job and I'm just about to start that as well. So I actually have training for the new job and I have my first shift of the new job this week which is also the week that I'm moving <laughs> so it's all been a bit crazy at the moment like I just wanted to quickly mention that to you guys just to give you some context just to kind of let you know what's been going on and also if the upload schedule is affected I don't think it will be because like I say I've pre-filmed videos and stuff but it's just so that you're aware and then eventually when when you see the new background you might be wondering like where are you and stuff so it's just to let you know that I'm moving and stuff um, but anyway, so that's sort of that really. Let me know what you've been up to. Has it been a busy time for you? Has it been a quite a chill time? Just let me know what you've been up to if you want to. Um, it's always nice for, for me to hear what you guys have been doing. Um, I like chatting with you and stuff, so just let me know. So one perfume that I've been absolutely loving, you guys, and I mean seriously like obsessed with this fragrance, is my beautiful Amorous Femme from Maison Francis Kirkjan. And I absolutely adore wearing this perfume to work. It just gets me in the right mindset. It gives me a lot of motivation. It's got this beautiful level of projection and longevity that means that I can smell it on myself all day without having to top up. And I do work quite long days as well. So that's really nice to know that I'm gonna be getting beautiful wafts of this throughout the whole day from morning till night pretty much and um, so I've been absolutely loving this one it's kind of this I almost want to say citrusy but it's not really because like I wouldn't say I'm a fan of citrusy perfumes but it's definitely got a brightness to it and I think that comes from a sort of mandarin orange note and also lemon blossom I think it could be lemon blossom I think is one of the notes um, you also have some musk in here. There's also this note that I can't quite remember what it is, but it almost smells a bit like pine needles, I think. It's quite musky. It's got this um, sort of woody woodiness to it. Maybe a touch of... Uh, maybe a touch of amber in the base. 
Okay, yeah, so the main accords are woody, aromatic, citrus, iris, it's iris that's in here, I totally forgot. Powdery, earthy, white floral, balsamic, violet, and musky. And the notes themselves, we have our lemon blossom, California orange, amorous, iris, vetiver, musk, and amber. And overall, I just, I absolutely adore this fragrance, you guys. I absolutely adore it. It smells professional, it smells very feminine, it smells um, polished, sleek, on point. All of those things come to mind when I smell this fragrance. It almost has something... It's so bright that it almost reminds me of like crystals or like clinking glasses or... It's that kind of beautiful scent and I just absolutely adore it. It's, it's so beautiful. So I have been wearing this one a fair bit mainly to work to be honest and I'm really excited to wear this one to my new job as well because I feel like it really helps me to get into that um, on the ball mindset, productive mindset. I would say this fragrance exudes a lot of confidence as well which I really like but it's still it's got something slightly cold about it that I like as well and it's just very professional so this one is a big thumbs up from me I love this fragrance so I've been wearing that one a fair bit recently a fragrance I've not been wearing lately at all is actually my Black Opium and I feel like it's because the weather has been so warm, like it's just started to cool down now actually, now that we're um, at the time of filming this video it's sort of like towards the end of August and um, it's started to cool down a bit now but like in the summer it was really really hot, we had some very hot weather here and I wasn't feeling drawn to this kind of perfume, I just I just wasn't really feeling it to be honest but I am sort of planning to wear this one more now the weather's started to cool down but anyway that's my original black opium that I've actually not been wearing a lot lately. A fragrance I have enjoyed wearing of an evening lately is Saint Honoré from Stephanie de Brouwen and this is a stunning velvety delicious vanilla scent you guys. It's really really beautiful. It's got this leathery note in here but it's not an overpowering leather. It's literally just adding a certain like je ne sais quoi to this perfume and it adds a depth to the vanilla notes. Oh my goodness you guys. This smells luxurious. This reminds me of a luxurious um, high-end boutique and they've got like vanilla scented things in there but you can also smell the high-end leather of the product. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. It's just beautiful and it does also remind me of Queer Beluga from Guerlain and if you've tried that perfume let me know what you think of it you guys but I think it's a complete masterpiece fragrance. I was blown away by that fragrance. It's just to be honest it's a bit out of my price range so I haven't purchased it but this perfume does remind me of Queer Beluga quite a bit because it has that suede like soft leathery quality in there you know but I've been enjoying this one a lot it's beautiful and it's also a perfume that I'm actually excited to wear more in the autumn and winter because it has that nice cocooning fuzzy comforting kind of feeling about it so that's Saint Honoré from Stephanie de Brouwen. I would say a perfume that I wear quite a lot in general is um, my Libra Intense from YSL. This is just such a beautiful, easy to wear, um, sort of comforting, powdery, vanilla, lavender type of scent. I just absolutely adore this one. It's got something quite sweet about it as well. I just find it really easy to wear and I actually think in the autumn particularly this will be a stunning one as well but I have been wearing it recently regardless on the slightly cooler days you know I've just been absolutely loving it. I generally wear this one quite a lot as you can probably see from the dent but yeah I totally love this one. I think they have like orange blossom in here as well, they've got your orchid kind of notes, I get some sweetness in here, I think they have ambergris as well and it's just absolutely divine you guys. Um, definitely a compliment getter as well because I have smelt this on somebody before and I asked them what they were wearing and it, it was this one but it's like it's loud enough that you can smell it on others is what I mean and it really it left a lasting impression on me when I smelt it on somebody else like before I decided to purchase it for myself. Um, 
But anyway, so that's Libra Intense from YSL, a perfume that I generally wear quite a lot and it's um, it's been on my perfume tray for, for ages pretty much. And to sort of finish off this video, I am conscious of time because I'm gonna have to like head out really soon, but just to finish off the video, the other fragrances that I've been really enjoying lately are these two here from Victoria's Secret. Um, in particular, the Bare Vanilla fragrance. So I wear this one a lot of an evening, pretty much every evening out of the shower. It's just such a beautiful, lovely, um, pleasant scent to spray on. It's very relaxing and comforting. It's basically like a vanilla whipped cream type of scent. And also, um, this is one that I've been wearing more recently. Like I've kind of rediscovered this one more recently and that's Midnight Bloom from Victoria's Secret. And to me, this perfume smells like a smoother, creamier version of Cloud from Ariana Grande. So the notes of this, it says Moonflower, Creamy Woods, Star-Crossed Lover. So it's definitely got that creaminess to it. And it's got that like airy, it's just got that same Ariana Grande cloud feeling to it, except I find this one to be milder. Um, it's still quite strong, but it's just, it's not as punchy as cloud was. And oh, yeah, I've been really enjoying this one as well. So that's that one there from Victoria's Secret. And I'm just gonna end things there because I do have to leave soon. And after, after this video, I'm probably not gonna have any more time to film any more videos before I actually move. So, um, <laughs> so this could very well be the last video I film in this room, basically, um, because I need to pack up all my perfumes. Like I need to pack them really well with their boxes. Not all of them have boxes, but I've got like little, um, bubble wrap pouches for them so I need to pack up all my perfumes and get ready for moving and everything like that. It's a really busy time you guys, seriously. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for sitting with me today and um, I've really enjoyed chatting about these perfumes with you and updating you on what's been going on in my life. Uh, again, let me know what you've been up to. Thank you again for all of your love and support, it means a lot to me and until next time you guys, take care. Bye!